this retreat online, serendipitously looking for something else, and um, had recently been told that I needed to paint. And I'm not a painter, I'm a photographer. And so I signed up for it, and I came here with no expectations and not really knowing what I was going to find, um, but open to the process and open to the experience. I turned 70 in July, and I wanted to kind of assess uh, where I am, where I want to go, what I'm doing. I've enjoyed being here because the women that are here, we've formed, a, I think, a tight bond with each other. And it's been amazing to see how, at all different ages, we range from 23 to 70, at all different ages, uh, how we're really uh, still struggling with the same issues. I woke up about a month ago and said to my friend, I need to paint. The very same day, my daughter's friend was checking out Melissa at the store and she handed over the business card. And that same day she gave it to me, that same day I called Melissa and it was just meant to be. This is my second year in a row and I said yes. I loved it. It's a gift to myself. I deserve it. It's an opportunity to renew, uh, rejuvenate, learn some new things, test myself in an artistic way, and just uh, be in this magical island. Diving into the paint. I mean, we had a full week of complete immersion into this medicine. And at first I resisted, and I actually kind of loved the resistance because I knew something was behind that space. Something else then occurred, I realized that I couldn't hold back anymore. So I loved most when I entered probably a space of my subconscious and the space of my body that I've never been in before. I loved community. I loved getting together with women who were powerful, I can only speak for myself, I found purpose by spending time, really, really intimate time with these people. We're in a very serene setting, and it's just very magical because you're right close and personal with nature, and that it's just uh, constantly a beautiful setting. Uh, we're outside uh, in the mornings mainly, and really in touch with the earth and so that's been very special. I could say the thing that I really loved the most was probably the community of women being surrounded by the other women that were here um, and listening to their stories and being supported by them listening to my story. It felt good to be in um, a creative place where there was no expectations. Being an artist and making work always with high expectations. I came here hoping to be creative in a way where there was no expectations. We created a really safe space for everybody to um, process whatever they were dealing with. And I thought that that was really remarkable as someone who doesn't often you know, feel safe, especially with strangers. And it was really wonderful and natural, primal and tribal and, and just earthly and connected. And it just was really safe. And I, I became friends with all of these women. What I loved most was painting. Um, I don't know how to paint. And our directions when we got here about painting was just paint. So there's so much freedom in that. And just putting color on paper and expressing yourself. And it just transforms as the day goes on, as the days go on and your truth comes out on the paper. Oh, Melissa, she's a magical being, isn't she? I felt like Melissa was a being of grace that I'd never seen before. And I was drawn to her mentorship and her ability to teach, which when I say teach, it is a very, very rare ability, I think, to be a true teacher, and Melissa has that, she is that. I think that she's a very honest soul, and she's very patient, 
she's uh, very willing to share your pain and where you are at the precise moment in time. She is excellent facilitator, wonderful guide, um, has a whole bailiwick of tools uh, that she shares with us, walks us through the process in a very gentle. I was just open to her way of seeing things and experiencing things and the support that she gives you when you go through the process and what she sees in the work that you do I think is really special. She sees a side of you or a part of you that you don't see in yourself. I think that she is on a magical journey herself and so you feel that spirit of journey uh, when you're with her and when you're working with her. She's just like one of us, you know, so she was like a, a retreater, just like all of us. A great, great women on this retreat. And she's a wonderful, wonderful listener. And, um, you know, she just, she just helps you get through your blocks. That when, you know, your natural defenses kick in and you don't want to go there, she sort of gives you a little nudge to just keep going and keep going and keep going until you break through. She sees where you are resisting. She sees where you can move forward and where you're blocking your own self and she pushes you to continue and she pushes you to let go and by letting go to find ground. Do it. Do it. Say yes. Hmm. Treat yourself. We all give so much to others. It's time to give to ourselves. If you're contemplating it, think very hard about it and listen to your heart. Uh, but you deserve the time. You deserve uh, to put energy into yourself. Come open, ready to experience, be ready to be vulnerable. The painting, the talks, the tears, the sharing, the dancing, the eating together. Uh, it's definitely something that I would recommend for anybody, any seeker. Be honest with yourself, be ready to be honest with yourself, and be prepared to accept the gifts that come with all of those things. 